Well, I was first involved in Jewish cemeteries about uh, 10 or 12 years ago when a uh, member of the congregation, about 90 years old, uh, asked if I could help him with his work as chair of the cemetery committee. And uh, that's how I first got involved in Jewish cemetery work. Uh, one of the first questions I asked him was, uh, is the synagogue setting aside enough money to make sure the cemetery will be you know, maintained even after all the graves are sold? And he said, I hope so. I thought that was very strange. It doesn't seem like a sound financial plan. And as I pursued things further, I uh, looked for advice from other people doing cemetery work in nearby synagogues and burial societies. And I found out that each of them also was doing their best, but in a totally isolated way. Uh, there were tremendous silos, uh, having no relationship even to cemeteries located uh, adjacent to theirs. Everybody was uh, doing their own thing. Uh, even to the extent that uh, in numerous instances, at least three that come to mind, uh, there were a group of adjacent Jewish cemeteries where the trustees of one had no idea who the landscaper was for the neighboring cemetery. And so uh, this really bothered me. I was trying to broaden my experience and learn from the benefit of others, but everybody was really doing their own thing. So I got involved in an organization called uh, Greater Middlesex Jewish Cemetery Organization, concerned with central New Jersey cemeteries. I inventoried, found out that there were uh, 30 cemeteries, 25 of which were totally standalone pieces of land, having nothing to do with any larger Jewish cemetery organizations. And they all were isolated and uh, had no breadth of experience, were doing the best that they could come up with. Oftentimes, they would have the entire investments, however meager they may be, in certificates of deposit, which is a very inappropriate uh, vehicle for the entirety of an investment that's supposed to last uh, through eternity. I was very concerned. And, uh, through my contacts reaching out further and further, KJAC and I met up with each other, and I was so relieved to learn that here was an organization that had great breadth of experience through numerous cemeteries throughout the New York metropolitan area, knew what were the practices that did work, what didn't work, had contact with vendors. Uh, it was really a godsend to me uh, to help give me guidance in what best practices are in the handful of cemeteries for which I had now become responsible. And ever since that day, I've been uh, so appreciative of the, of the guidance and support, uh, technical and moral support, and, and just sound basic wisdom uh, that I've gotten from KJAC. We're here in Woodbridge, New Jersey, at the site of a pair of uh, Jewish cemeteries established in the early 20th century based on the Jewish community at that time thriving in Perth Amboy, New Jersey. This is the Orthodox Congregation Beth Israel, which was established in 1905, its cemetery here in Woodbridge, just outside of Perth Amboy, and adjacent to it, uh, the Workman's Circle uh, Branch 95 Cemetery from 1922, a secular uh, labor organization that uh, threw itself in with the cemetery uh, at the end of the 20th century. It threw itself in with the uh, Orthodox Synagogue Cemetery, and then that synagogue also uh, dissolved, leaving a pair of Jewish cemeteries uh, without any owner. So local Jewish community took it over. Jewish Federation helped uh, bring that all, all to be, and now we'll see the two cemeteries together. The uh, general condition is good, the landscaping is well maintained, but since it is over a hundred years old, certainly uh, stones have leaned over the course of the year. A couple of them are down entirely, several of them are leaning uh, dangerously, and uh, they're not going to correct themselves. They need help, and uh, the people who uh, were in that community and are buried here contributed uh, mightily to central New Jersey, uh, but can't speak for themselves any longer. Among the two dozen stones which need to be uh, uh, fixed because they're leaning badly, this is the worst case. It's fallen over entirely, and our plans are to have this uh, restored in the coming months, along with all the others. And once we accomplish that, it really will be 
certainly physically a, a big game changer for the cemetery. And thankfully, we have great landscaping now. Yes, that's another thing that uh, uh, KJAC helped a great deal in helping us find a good, reliable landscaper. There was great overgrowth on these fences uh, two, three, four years ago, and that has been cut back, although the fence still is a bit unsightly and needs to be uh, repaired uh, so that animals can't get in and uh, to, re to restore the, uh, the, the basic good looks of, of the cemetery. We were in Perth Amboy, New Jersey, which had a very vibrant Jewish community in the 19th century through the mid and latter part of the 20th century. Each of the many synagogues and many fraternal organizations had their own cemetery, including the independent uh, Jewish burial society created in 1932 called Avasachim. It buried a few people in the mid-1930s, but then unfortunately that organization dissolved. And it was never maintained so that today we have a totally overgrown and unrecognizable lot of land. The original couple of people who were buried, their graves can no longer be uh, located. And this is precisely the example that we're trying to avoid in the other cemeteries for which we have stepped forward and taken responsibility, and which KJAC has uh, done enormous work in restoring and preserving. I'm very proud to say that tonight's honoree, Michael Wasserman, is my father. I'd like to share a brief perspective from our family about the work our father has been doing with KJAC and other organizations over the past decade, serving Jewish communal life and preserving Jewish values afterlife. It's quite fitting that our father is being awarded a Keter Shem Tov by KJAC. Pirkei Avot 413 quotes, Rabbi Shimon said, there are three crowns, the crown of Torah, the crown of priesthood, and the crown of royalty, but the crown of a good name supersedes them all. Keter Shem Tov, Ole Al Gabehen. Our family is immensely proud of the work my father has been doing and of Kajak bestowing him with the Keter Shem Tov Award, the crown of a good name, evincing an impeccable reputation. But those who know our father best know that being honored for his efforts is the last thing on his mind. He is entirely focused on bringing about the best results for the Jewish community and beyond without any thought of receiving credit for it. Fittingly, the other three crowns <coughs> mentioned in Pirkei Avot are also exemplified by the ethics of our father. Keter Torah, he always shares a Dvar Torah at any family gathering and meals. Keter Kahuna, he has been faithfully serving the Jewish community for over 60 years. And Keter Malchut, he personifies being a true leader, jumping in to restore and bolster Jewish cemeteries when he noticed the need. But finally, we know that my father's true crowning achievement is having inspired all his children, grandchildren, and extended family to try their very best to follow in his and my mother's footsteps, to honor those who came before us, deal respectfully and ethically with those around us, and focus our energies on making the world a better place for those who come after us. We love you, Abba, Grandpa Mike, and are so proud of all your work with KJAC and beyond. Mazel Tov. And to all uh, friends and family who are watching, uh, I want to thank you so much. Uh, KJAC is a wonderful organization that cares for those who can't care for themselves, who bring dignity not only to those who have gone before, but to reaffirm the notion that life is important and valuable and beautiful and uh, is worth uh, uh, preserving, and that, God forbid, we shouldn't allow here in the midst of the most affluent Jewish community the world has ever known to allow uh, cemeteries uh, to be neglected, but rather to be uh, uh, maintained in a dignified manner, uh, indicating we were here, these people were here, they contributed, every one of us benefited from the collective contributions of those who came before, whether they were small-time shopkeepers in small towns buried in little isolated cemeteries, or buried in sections of much larger uh, cemetery organizations, part of a Lanzmannschaft, part of a synagogue, whatever the case may be, everyone contributed and we all benefit from all of them. And so if we can now lend a hand to the work of KJAC to ensure the dignity of these cemeteries, we, uh, I think, buy a piece of Olam Haba, a piece of eternity for ourselves as we simultaneously do so for those who came before us.